Hi there everyone, welcome back to Engineering with Preetam. This is a free video course on Mastering Creo Parametric. In this video, we will explore the Modify tool in Creo Parametric, which allow you to make precise adjustments to your sketch and features. So before we begin, consider like and subscribe to this channel for following the complete video series of PTC Creo Parametric and for such video that actually going to add some value in your life. So now without further ado, let's get started. So if I talk about Modify tool, Modify tool is a very powerful feature in Creo Parametric that enable you to make precise change in your sketches and feature. So let me quickly jump into sketches first. So in order to create sketch, let me click here on this sketch tool and let me select this front plane and let me click here on sketch. So that's how guys now we are in sketch and now in order to utilize this modify, let me create sum of entities okay and then what we going to do is we will be utilizing this modify tool okay now there we go and as i was saying before this modify tool is an easy way to adjust dimensions constraint and other parameter helping you to create accurate and well-defined design one such example let me create a rectangle here okay and when I created this rectangle, I did not knew that the dimension is only 120 because I would like to create is 1200. Now, as I created this value as 1200, maybe this value could be challenging for me because this one is just 10 only. Now, let me create here a rectangle and here you can see its value is 757 and 90. Let me make this value as 10 because I just wanted to make it 10. And there we go. Here we can see how weird this look but what if i'm gonna modify these values utilizing the modify tool so how easy it is for me and now you will see so i'm gonna select all these dimensions that i would like to modify and now instead of making or adding these value one on one i can simply define this value pretty quickly i want this value to be zero so i can simply write zero here and then i'm gonna make this another value as zero as well because I want to start this rectangle from 0, 0. And now here I'm going to make it 15 and 15 and 25. And now I can hit OK. In this way, guys, we can easily define any entity without thinking a lot. It makes things very easy to understand and play with it. Now, one another capability of this modify tool, let me quickly show you by again selecting the same rectangle and same four dimension. Let's say I want to increase the value of one dimension. Okay. And what you will see that the other dimension also increase in the same proportion. So let me increase this 15 dimension and you can see the below dimension is 25. Now I'm going to make this one as 30. So automatically another dimension should be 50. So now let me hit OK and there we go. Here we can see the dimensions of both entities increases proportionately. So this feature also exists inside modify tool. Now what if we have got this kind of geometry where you need to modify multiple dimension? Well, this also can be taken care by this modify tool with ease. You just need to select Select all the dimension that you would like to modify and then you may want to provide these values one on one and as I said before let's say you want to increase or decrease any entities you may lock the scale and then you may would like to play with these option allowing us to grow and shrink the model proportionately so in this way guys we can utilize this modify tool I hope that you find this video helpful and informational if yes then don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel for such content also, I'm going to attach the whole playlist of PTG Creo Parametric tutorial in the description of this one. So do not forget to check out those videos as well. And I will see you soon in my next one. Till then, take care and bye-bye.